Hey, what's going on guys? Adil here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we use Asana for our business. I'll take you down to um, under the hood of our business and show you how we use it, the way we structure projects, the way we track projects, the way we handle files and all that stuff. And it's been uh, incredible. We have been using the tool now for the last eight years and it's been uh, great. We had to adapt a little bit to make it work for us, but they'll keep adding they keep adding a lot of features to Asana. And the best part of this is we're still in free version. You know, we've been using the free version now for the last eight years, and that's incredible. Um, I can't tell you that about other project management tools because you still have to pay for it. We've used uh, Trello before. We used Basecamp. We used, um, right now, I think we took a look at monday.com, but we're not really, we're going to stick to Asana just because of its practicality and its price point, which is free. There are some features that you have to pay for, but for us, we managed to not really need those features. They're nice to have, but we managed to not have, need it. So uh, in this video, we will go through the whole process and I will show you what's going on. So let's do it. All right, guys, so basically what right now what we're going to do, we are in the pricing section of Asana. Um, they, they charge $10 per user or about $11 per user per month for these futures and whatnot. So what the demo is going to be is basically about the free plan. Um, so it, it won't let me go into the free plan right now because I'm logged in, but I'll go there afterwards when we, when we go through the walkthrough. So, okay, so let's just do that really quick. And then we can come back and talk about all these futures and are they really needed um, and it's just up to you, okay? So what we'll do is let's go in here to Asana. So once you go in and create some sort of a project or when first time when you sign up, um, what's gonna happen here, you can create a lot of these. And these are all our workplaces. So each account comes with a lot of work. You can create, for us at least, you can create as many workplaces as you can. And the workplace is really simple. Uh, all you need to do is just click on create new workplace. You can call it whatever workplace you want to go. So we'll just call it demo workplace. And you're just going to invite people. Test one, you know, you know, Jimmy at whatever your company dot com or their Gmail accounts or whatnot. And then you can invite them up to uh, I'll have to figure out exact same number. So once you do that, you'll you'll get a blank slate like this right here. I added these for the sake of demo. But let's just hypothetically speaking. Let's just create that. Let's just go delete this, right? So here's how you delete it. You just go delete a project, delete business plan project. So what I will do, um, this is I create that just special for you. I call it YouTube um, or workplace for YouTube and I can start it. So basically I'll show up here. And what you need to do is you can enter this project. There'll be other projects down here, okay? So what I'll do is I'll, I'll click on this and I'll just say, let's say starting a business checklist. They have some of these premium templates. You have to pay because some of them have, have more uh, features, but we never really needed these features. Yeah, they're nice to have. So basically anything that you see this little badge, it means that it's, you know, paid. Uh, custom fields and timelines. Was it really important for us? <clears throat> Not really, it was tempting. But we managed to use Asana for the last six, five, six years or seven years, no problems whatsoever. For pretty much every single business we started, we used Asana. I mean, I use it for even for my personal. So let's do this. Let's click on use template. I just write demo. You can make it private to you. So you're the only person who sees it in there. If you want to invite specific people, that's going to be the problem or challenge. Therefore, you have to create it to have a paid account. So let's just click on the free one. So basically, this is the layout of the project. You you know, just kind of a, you know, spreadsheet, spreadsheets kind of thing. Um, just like a spreadsheet. Because you, what you can do too, you can import when you create an, a, um, you can you can import a spreadsheet that has some sort of layout and it will, it will put it here for you. So this is super simple. So you have sections in here and each section so let's say hypothetically speaking you can call it demo and this demo will have tasks so task one i just want to call it task task one task two 
you get the gist. If you're done, if you if you if you make a mistake, backspace, you go back again. If you're done, you just need to click on this and validate it. If you want to swap these, you can do this. Same thing. You know, you can drag the um, order. No problems at all. So the idea here is, let's say registering a business. So this is just an example. Here is a drop down. Choosing the domain name. Whenever you see this little um, tree, it's basically this project or this task has many other subtasks. And you can create more subtasks and more subtasks, and it's endless. So you can go down the rabbit hole really, really quick on this guy. And you don't want to do that so much because that could be confusing, especially if you have multiple people touching it and you have some sort of notification, they will get annoyed. We had people who got so annoyed because of all these notifications they're getting. So to choose, so here, for example, what I'll do, you click on a detail and I can assign it to myself. For example, due dates, I want it to do, I want it to set it to repeat or let's just say the 24th. Um, please, I'll just give an example. Please go to, um, go to website, um, blah, whatever, abc.com and uh, register the business name. Business, if I can spell. I have the mic between me and my the keyboard and it's a little hard to do this. Okay. It's super cool. You can tag, you can do all that kind of cool stuff. The cool thing is I can do at sign and I can add, uh, it, can, it says here, mention a teammate, a link, task or project. You, we will go deep into this in, in, in the second tutorial, but this one is basically, let's say, I'll tag somebody else. I'm just gonna tag myself, but here it is. And that person will get a task and they're becoming a follower on this project, okay? So this is cool. Hypothetically speaking, you're working on this. You can use this as a chat. Hey, I went to, I went to, to register, to register and ABC happened, something around those lines, and you can hit this and it, be, and it adds it to the timeline. And whoever is in this project, they will be notified. So that's the cool thing about it. And then you can use this as a way of chatting versus emails back and forth. You can like it, it'll show that this one is liked. So here it is, you can see the, see the comments, you can see the subtasks. Let's just go for example, the subtask, search for the existing trademark. Uh, this task, task is hard and I will take my time. So hypothetically speaking, I do this and it's going to show as we go here in the main dashboard. It shows us it's due tomorrow. Who's the assignee and you can add more things in here. The, the priority is where you have to pay. So if you're trying to add some of these fields for us, sometimes what we do, we just drag it by priority. And what we'll do is we'll just label it as priority as you know, this is. And so for example, registering the business and I'll just put, you know, it's priority is basically, I'll just do um, high priority. Okay. So this is how you can get around that. I mean, we'll love their product. It's pretty awesome, but they didn't really kill pretty much everything in there. So you just have to pay like they're, They've been Asana is incredible. I, I love I love working with the software. There's so many ways you can get around paying for the full uh, for the other one because we never need it. We just have to tweak things, and they never made it so hard for us to even do that. So I really love their their abundance mindset, if you will. Uh, so I appreciate you guys. So you did that. Once you're done, for example, you can just hit done, and it will mark it like that. Let's say finish this one similar way. And it's good now we have this done let's click on here too this is done it will say it's marked if you have people that's attached to this project you will see it one of the tricky things sometimes because now you you checked it off the list it's gone the only the easiest way to do this and we we don't let um so what i'll do i'll click on here so i have to find yeah it sees it says incomplete task it will only show impl incomplete tasks I don't like that view. I like to see all the tasks. So I can see exactly what the timeline is. How is everything going? Because sometimes when, when this is checked off, I don't I don't like it. So this is our instruction for our employees, our VAs to do that, to do so. Just because we don't want to the back and forth and all that stuff. 
calendaring is super awesome in here so i can I, you can come in here and see and you can set up a task just like that you can you can set like the weekends off weekend on yada yada colors you can use your color whatever so it's just self-explanatory just a regular calendar nothing else uh, so let's go back to the board now one of the cool thing is hypothetically speaking this is to me i don't like this views it just makes a little bit uh, it looks too packed they added the board list which basically it's it's what it's called the kanban methodology or for project management why not so now you can add these to here you can you know move it through this timeline or stages okay and i wanted to show all tasks so now even if done so if i come in here because i am a very visual person so i can come in i can look i'm like okay this is where we are so we're good so this is why we love this this way and i'll show you exactly how to do, to, to do this too if you want to forms this is a paid version it's basically creating forms however if you don't want to you can use google forms you can integrate it with it so forth and so on okay so let's go back here to the project you can star it and it's basically going to have a star you can color it so or add an icon or whatever and let's just make it red um, duplicate it so hypothetically speaking you were working on this some sort of a checklist i will go in here and click on duplicate this project and it's going to ask you do you want to duplicate everything with the assignment so for us we have some monthly things that we do we put a reoccurring on them and we have people that's the same people do it over and over and over but we don't want to have this project that goes forever right <clears throat> excuse me so what we'll do is we'll just duplicate the project we'll have one we'll call it for example not just i'm literally giving you guys our um what's under hood in our business that we've been doing for a while so we'll just call, call it don't delete um, wow, I can even spell delete. Okay. And this is going to be the template. So this is the template. So whenever we have these, um, we'll just, we don't need an attachment. So for example, we want a, a very clean slate project. So no attachments. Tags, we'll keep them. Project members, we don't because they change because we have contractors coming in and out. Uh, due dates the same way, but a subtask and stuff like that, this is, will stay the same. So we create a new project what it's going to do, it'll, it'll do it here in the background and done deal. Here it is. Here it is. So this project. So what you used to do is we'll categorize them. So I'll just drag it here. We'll have all the templates, all our templates here, and we're good. So you can move it back and forth, yada, yada. It's pretty cool. Reports. Um, when you click on it, you'll get to see the whole thing. I hate looking at the reports because it's scary. And I don't like that look. You can choose a calendar view. I'll show you some of this, uh, you know, a cleaner look. So let's go back again to this new hire checklist, for example. What I want to do is I want to see what the conversation and you can have the conversations here. You can literally you can email this for this specific new hire project. So this is the email that's always going to be. Um, so it's a new new dash hire dash checklist dash for managers at mail that. So you can literally email this and you can come in. So the new conversation is like a, a business um, discussion or brainstorm, business brainstorming, storming, or whatever that might be, and convo. Ooh, if I can spell. Hey, what's up? And I can name, let's just say myself, how are we doing with, let's say registering the business. I think there was one called if it available. Yeah. I tagged the whole project. So now if someone new to look at it, it can just come in and go see exactly what the project is. Um, hey, so-and-so, how are we doing with this task? Can you please update us? if you don't want to go dig deeper into it okay i'll hit post and now you see the conversation the person can come in here and say hey i did this you can always add people to this conversation or collaborators you can add so and so in here you invite them and this is myself i can invite another person or if you don't want to do that you can just hit add sign same way and um let's say let's say i went to register this domain name for example and i have a list of domain names i just can add this from here and i can say 
hmm, okay, let me just do a Google Drive. It'll ask me what Google Drives I wanna do. So I'm just gonna click one of mine here and I'm just, it's gonna allow you to go in and create and add it. Now it will, you will have to choose um, so something. So what you need to do is just gonna go in there, plug in whatever you need to do, or you can upload it, or you can take a link of this. This is a link. So if we go here, this is the link for that conversation. So let's go back. I hope this music is not loud. It's just more relaxing. I use this brain.fm to focus. If you guys never used it, highly recommend it. Anyway, let's go back. You can do emojis. You can do all that kind of cool stuff. Um, same thing too. You can delete it. You can print it. You can edit it. So literally you can do anything you want here. You can, um, this is comment. So this is the cool thing about it, right? Here now it says medium, high, low. That's cool. Um, you can set those priorities as well. You can do the due dates. Here's a repeat due date, for example. We have some for our supports. We set due dates for to send reports every month. So we'll just go in and say repeat this every 30 days. Periodically, say daily, periodically, weekly, monthly, yearly. So you can categorize that here. Um, if you want to do the start date, so this is where you start paying, but you can get around that. Like they're, they're really very lenient with their platform, which is super awesome. Eventually we're going to be moving into the paid one. So now it will be, um, every repeating this every 30 days, which is on the 23rd of April. Okay. Uh, let's just do, let's up, upload, let's do task is the one, two, three, whatever it is. Right. And then, and you could you could keep going you have another task within the subtask we talked about it here you can put descriptions of this task so request laptop and please buy um fill, please fill out uh for the form to get the laptop and notify it so this is if you're if this is the checklist for new hire you can have this happen all the time and you can assign things. So you you now you can start seeing like the usability of this, um, putting everything organized like this and creating templates. You can create your own templates. And that's the cool thing here. Once it's done, you can do the exact same thing. For example, here, if there is a form, you can upload that form. So I'll just go in here and say, I wanna upload it from my computer. I'll just do a picture of something like that. It is a design that I did for my podcast. So I'm just gonna put it here. So this is just uh, awesome features here, okay? So here's an, an example here. And by the way, if you guys wanna learn how to do podcasting, let me know. I have a free course on how to start that from scratch. It's pretty cool. Um, you take it, you'll be uh, having a podcast. All right, cool guys. So this is it. This is the 30,000 foot overview. If you, learn, if you learn this, you'll be very proficient at Asana right now. Say okay? So now let's do this really quick. Let's go in into let's start a new project, a blank project, and we'll call it uh, Canaban. Canaban test. If I spell Canaban, I think so. It's all good. And create a project to do in progress, done, comments, yada yada, approved. Uh, we have that as approved. And what we'll do, we'll drag it. This is our workflow, for example. So I'll create project one, say, um, create web, create website, for example. Assign it to myself, um, a website, let's do that. Let's do that tomorrow. And let's say, hey, please use XYZ. You get the gist, you can create one, do this, B, do this, three, do this. If you don't want that, you can do it here in subtask by domain name. Link domain name, domain name to whatever. Install theme, install WordPress. If you're doing WordPress, get hosting, yada, yada. You see, you get the idea. Uh, the reason why I'm going to do that, and I'm going to show you something really quick, guys. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, we want to replicate the exact same thing. What we can do, we can just select all, copy, right? Well, I can, I can go start a new project, call it 
um, test project. I can go into test project. I can go to the task here. I just hit paste and voila, nothing happens. So what happened here? So let's do that again. So what it does, it does support copy paste. Here we go. It worked second time because I didn't hit command C. So command C, command V or control uh, C, control V if you want to do that. So that's the cool thing. And you can have these as mini projects and you can use them, you can move them into this project lifecycle here. It's whatever works for your business, but I love this view. It's super clean for me. I don't get too crazy because of the way it looks and whatnot. I can set status of this and you can say status is on track, uh, risk, let's say on track. Next, dev, uh, wor dev um, work needed, just for the lack of better words here, post. So now we know that on we're on track for this project, it says it on track. There's the, there's the, it's moving now in pro, in progress. It's gonna go in, let's say to the dev, or you can modify this as well. Whatever fits your, your literally your business process. That's pretty much it. The inbox, if someone assigns something to you, it will show up here, just exactly like what it, what it did for me. I assigned that, that Kanban thing here. I can go into to it, he says why. So you can always come into your inbox here or your, your tasks, the inbox, you don't have anything in here, but if, if someone sent to you, mentioned you, you can see it here. It says all assigned to me, at mentions and assigned to me, and you can see manage notifications if you will. I highly recommend this. This is a pro tip, guys, because if you get too too involved in Asana, it will clog up your your um, <laughs> your your inbox. Uh, and it's anything that happens, especially if there's a discussion, you gotta come in here and Modify these parameters for whatever fits you, okay? Do not notify me between this time and this time. Yes, pause, notify. You just kind of come in here and task updates, you you know, let's say allow it. It will clog up your stuff if you don't do it, okay? Email forwarding. Let's just go profile. You can create your profile here. Notifications, please do this. Otherwise, you'll, uh, you'll go nuts. Email forwarding, you create an email forwarding as well here self-explanatory and um, this is just the projects that we have display let's say I want to do this here it is um, I just go with default okay apps you can we use harvest for time tracking you can put toggle we did that a long time ago as well and um, I have I automate that IO and Zapier which I will talk later on how are we using other automation tools <clears throat> To automatically create projects for us and notify other people so I will be talking more about uh, that specific um, you know sequence and I will link it into the description of this video and if you want to get notifications please subscribe and hit the bell button because we will be sharing some awesome stuff this is years of years of tech and years of years of cool stuff that we've been managing and now it's time to to show it to the world so one of the cool things too is asana has a gmail add-on which i will go into in another video where i can show you how we're managing it another one is i will be talking about the mobile app that mobile app is pretty cool it does it does work we get notifications as well but toggle is to track time Harvest is to track time as well. This is native. This one you have to go in and get the, the actual, um, uh, authorize it with your account. So most of this, uh, all of them are authorized by us. <clears throat> like you see here, 2016 is when we did Templana. La uh, Slack, I guess we're still in legacy. We don't use Slack anymore just because it's uh, just a little bit too distracting, if you will. We have too much stuff going on. So uh, with that being said, guys, this is it. This is really what you get out of Asana. So now let's talk about pricing. Um, and one, one last thing really quick here. So you see this, you can add a task project conversation, just quick ways to do things. I mean, they have it, they have it dialed in pretty well. Um, here, like I said, this is the admin console. You can go in and see all your, your other projects. I'm going to quit out of this because we've got some projects I don't want to, for privacy reasons. And 
uh, one of the things too, you can invite clients to this, and this is why uh, they have they have some of this um, capabilities in the business plan. But what we did in the past is basically just get a client, invite them to that specific project. When they're done, they're out, and we just keep creating more workplaces per client. Because if you add them to the major one, they will be even. So let's say if you have one called web development, they will come in and they will see pretty much everything, unless you're paying for that plan, which just gives you the privacy. You don't want to do that, okay? So let me log out of my Asana. And let's go to that homepage. Say so, okay, so what I'll do here, I'll just like asana.com. And you will see here in the um, homepage that being used by some massive companies, NASA, Salesforce, I mean, I think Airbnb, they use them, and Uber or whatnot. So it's, it's, it's a really cool tool. Citrix, I mean, you can just see like, <laughs> okay. Cool guys, so now let's go in into the pricing. This is what we've been using for the last eight years, seven to eight years. So at any given moment, we only had 15 users, 15 employees, but, um, and this, this got the job done for us. If, you want, if you're looking to supercharge your workflow with Asana, this is, you need to, to get it into the next level of it and you can this is com comparison you get the timeline you get advanced searches and whatnot you get a limited free guest so if you have clients as guests you can you can get them there for fr for free you can have a limited of them so for clients milestones admin console yada yada so private this is what i was talking about earlier about private the new ones that they added here is approvals so for, for example if you have some sort of managerial approval for in your company there's some sort of hierarchy or even client um you know approval they will they will get that for you they have the uh <clears throat> what's the other one they had the forms as well but you can get around that with with google forms and i will make another video um to uh to how to use google forms and whatnot and you can just get to see that you can browse that on your own this is i don't want to bore you guys with all these details but for uh for any startup or even um somewhat established company the free plan or the the, the 10 1099 plan is 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 more than enough um, if you're looking for some custom branding and all that stuff you're you you know you gotta you gotta pay to play and i'm super thankful for this project management tool just because it's it, it saved us um, a lot of money a lot of time and and we were one of those companies we would jump from one to the other <laughs> just because like we're trying to find the best project management tool and there's no best project management tool you need to modify your business process to fit that because there's no company going to build the project management that fits every industry and what for us we, we we dabble in marketing we dabble in it and we dabble in other projects in the web so the best way we did we had to do is literally study it like because for, for for the first couple of years we we're just jumping from trello to this to jira to um now i'm like looking at monday.com like hmm, well maybe that's not going to happen but this is the way to do it guys is literally just stick to one make it work for you and test the limitation and right now with zapier and all other um automation tools this is perfect this piece of cake so i hope this helps guys i would love to hear your opinion on this um if this was helpful please smash that like button and please comment if you have any questions or anything like that, I'm more than happy to, to make more videos on it and share some of the templates that we have here because that's that's going to be the best. Just some more use cases. If there's any use case that you want me to talk to you about it, we've pretty much done it all. And I'm more than happy to share with you guys how we're doing certain things with Asana and how we're streamlining this entire project. So um, I hope this helps and uh, looking forward to do another tutorial with you. Take care, guys.